Hi everyone, we are here in the AAFE Training Center. I'm Lauren and we have a very special patient in our chair today. This is Sydney, one of our very own full-time faculty members. Um, today we are going to do her smooth thread and her botulinum toxin treatment. So we have previously done a series or one other treatment of smooth threads on Sydney. So this is her second and a series of three. Um, we did them about four to six weeks ago and we're gonna do this treatment. And then again, in four to six weeks, we will do her third treatment. Um, so the ones you will be seeing today is she has a little chicken pox scar up there, which I've already marked. Um, we're gonna do about five smooth threads in there of the mini uh, 29 by 30 smooth threads. And then we are also going to be doing this submental fat um, here under your chin or double chin um, as it's commonly referred to and we're going to be doing the 29 by 30 smooth threads down there and I have it marked out in kind of a sundial pattern which is a pretty standard treatment um, pattern for that area so come on in and we will get started she's already been topically numbed which she hates <laughs> um, but it's just more comfortable for your patient we're just gonna lay her flat get the the chair in the position that I like. You'll feel like you're upside down. And for the smooth threads, it's just making sure the skin is taut, going in at about a five to 10 degree angle, bearing that bevel and then should glide right in. You can either leave the um, the needles in if you prefer, just so you can see what pattern you're making, or you can take them out, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. You don't have to bury the whole needle. Um, the length of the th thread, especially on the minis, if you can see that, if it'll, is very short. So you don't have to go all the way to the hub up here. Um, that would just be more painful for your patient. And I'll just demonstrate taking these out. So you wanna turn them 360 degrees just to twist all the way around. I hold pressure to the distal end and just pull it straight out. Just dab a little bit there. And then we will do our other two. This area up here is a little bit tender mm -hmm. <laughs> and it oozes just a little bit more. We don't have as much fat tissue up here. All right, one more, Sid. Okay. For your little scar up here, just gonna clean you up. And here it looks great. It looks like the scar is completely gone, but that's also partially swelling and just from manipulating the tissue. But she says she has noticed some results just from after that first treatment. But normally it takes about three treatments at least. The nice thing about smooth threads is you can continue them on every month. Um, they take about three to six months for the thread to dissolve. So here, as you can see, we're using a little bit larger of a thread, a little bit longer of a thread. Still 29 by 30, but just a little bit longer. All right. How are these, Sid, compared to the ones in your forehead? Not nearly as bad. <laughs> So the sole purpose of the smooth threads is just to build collagen. So like I was saying, over a period of about three to six months, these threads start to dissolve. So we do a series of three. So gradually um, they start to dissolve over time and you see even better results. And you get some collagen production about 
a centimeter and a half, maybe two centimeters around that thread. So they don't have to be directly on top of each other, but you wanna just space them out nicely so you get good coverage in that whole area. Almost done. Just slide right in when you're in that right plane. Two more. Now we're gonna just go ahead and twist them all to remove them. You have your sharps container nearby. Just hold pressure. And holding the pressure just kind of helps that thread stay behind and integrate into that tissue. And that is it. We're just going to give her a quick clean, wipe all of her markings off. How was it? Um, not bad. The <laughs> submental area was um, definitely not as bad as the scar. Much more comfortable. I did have some a little bit of bruising last time, but that went away rather quickly. Good. All right, hi guys, we are back here with Sydney. We just finished cleaning her up after her smooth thread treatment. We are now going to go ahead and give her a botulinum toxin lip flip. So you can see when she smiles, you, um, the corners of her mouth and her lip kind of curl under. She's previously had lip filler, so it looks better than if she hadn't had previous filler. Um, but she still doesn't like how the way that muscle curls under. So we're gonna go ahead and give her a total of three units um, to treat the superficial muscle fibers of the orbicularis oris muscle. It's a little bit different than the radial lip lines. Um, so we're just gonna go in superficially to treat that muscle just from curling under, but we're treating the same muscle. So even though we're giving three units, you ready? Mm -hmm. We are giving um, 11 pokes. So it is spicy. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, turn towards me. We're gonna go this way. As you can see, I'm not pinching and going at a 90 degree angle like I would if I was treating radial lip lines. One more up here. And then it's three injections on the bottom just to keep it a little bit more comfortable for the patient. And just one last poke. Done. You're all done. Ooh.